You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. What was your first name? I'm Victoria. Victoria. Okay. That's how old are you? 31. 31. Married or single? Single. Ever been married? No. No. Any children? Yes. How many? Two. Have you broken the curse of illegitimacy on the children? No. How old are they? 14 and 7. 14 and 7. Okay. I'm not passing moral judgments on you, but it's a spiritual principle. You have to break that curse of illegitimacy. Okay. Okay? We're going to break that. Okay? I want you to tell me what's the worst thing that ever happened to you in life besides having two Ill illegitimate children and being rejected? Well, I've been raped by demons before. I'm not here to drag all the bad stuff out of your life. But the point is, these are the ways that the Jezebel spirit gets in. And any time a woman is targeted with sexual abuse, there's always a Jezebel spirit in the family bloodline. Victoria? Yeah. Want to get free? Yes. Look at me, Victoria. For the sword of the spirit, I divide soul and spirit. I divide the part of this woman who knows the Lord. Do you know the Lord? Jezebel, don't you go back to her ancestors. That's why she was tormented. So we're going to break that curse, Jezebel. Would you say, I, Victoria? I, Victoria. Break this curse. Break this curse. Of Jezebel. Of Jezebel. And all her kind. And all her kind. I go back. I go back. To the root of this curse. To the root of this curse. To my ancestors. To my ancestors. Keep your eyes on me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I renounce the spirit. I renounce the spirit. Quasalkawaro. 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 You said it right. And all the blood sacrifices. And all the blood sacrifices. That were done to that God. And that were done to that God. On behalf of Jezebel. On behalf of Jezebel. You know, Quetzalcoatl, I know you're there. And I know you're there, Jezebel. I'm going to take the sword of the Spirit and stick it through you just to get your attention. <laughs> get up and face me. Now get out of the way. Just go away now and let this thing get up and face me. Get up. Get up. Get up! Get up, Jezebel, and Quetzalcoatl. She's got Aztec blood. We know what's back there, don't we? Huh? Blood. Lots of blood. You've tried to rape this woman. You molested her. You've tormented her. You've abused her. You can't give her. Would you say in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus. I break the curse of the bastard. I break the curse of the bastard. On my children. On my children. God has forgiven me for the sin. God has forgiven me for the sin. And I break that curse. And I break that curse. Now my book, Curse Breaking, has got a whole chapter on that subject. You can read it later, but just trust me, it's a powerful curse. Okay? And I'm not saying you're a bad person. Okay? I'm not putting moral judgments on you. It's just the way it works. Okay? Jezebel, you've been trying to get this woman her whole life. Jezebel. You can't keep her. You can't keep her. Get out of Jezebel. Get out of Jezebel. Say, I'm Jezebel. 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 I'm
then she was still experiencing the trauma of the exorcism of what it was like for this thing to go. And the body just keeps going. You had a great deliverance. All right? Amen. Amen. Who did this for you? Jesus. Amen. Oh my God, give her a hand. Oh, what a The most frequent demon that I deal with is the spirit of Jezebel, the most prevalent evil spirit of our age. This demon wants to destroy your health, your finances, your marriage, your family, and your church. Learn the tactics of Jezebel throughout history and in the time in which we live. My book, Jezebel, Defeating your number one spiritual enemy is your key to overcoming this demon, which is more prevalent than at any time in human history. Get your copy today. Jezebel, defeating your number one spiritual enemy. A lot has been lifted and that's all thanks to God and to Bob. Anybody who needs help, just reach out, we'll help you. I have to give all the credit, and number one to God, but, but to the Bob Larson's ministry because it was what I learned that I was able to apply to these terrible situations I found myself in and get deliverance. If your life isn't all that it should be, if relationships aren't working, if your health, your finances, or your spiritual life are unhappy, schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one encounter with me. We'll get to the root of the issues that are holding you back. We'll give you answers and a whole new direction in life. That overwhelming joy and, and peace has come in from that experience alone of being delivered. Oh, what a change, what a difference when you have an encounter with God. He already saw the demon in me when it was revealed that I had Jezebel. Barb Larson's amazing ability that he's been gifted with. I thank Bob Larson and most importantly, I thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you're oppressed, we'll confront it. If you have curses, will break them. Whether you need healing, deliverance, or biblically sound direction in life, a personal one-on-one -on -one encounter will set you free. Oh, I got set free of a demon. I am free of this, of this demon. Bless this man of God, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He absolutely cleansed me and he took the curses away from me. God had helped me tonight to get rid of the demon. Go see Bob Larson because he can help you. You've given my life back with my wife and you've given me a chance to, to save my life and save my wife's life. Call one of our encounter coordinators now. You've waited too long to get your life back on track. Take action. I look forward to seeing you soon. One of Bob Larson seminars, and I gotta say it was amazing. The prayers and the deliverance, I feel so much better. I feel alive. Today, God just delivered me of Lucifer so that I could serve him for the rest of my life in my anointing. Thank you, God. He delivered me from so many different demons, uh, spirits that have been plaguing me for so long. You have to be set free so you can truly be set free. It's just, it's just worth it. The ministry is just worth it. <laughs> we encourage your support for this worldwide outreach to do what Jesus did. For the latest information on resources, seminars, conferences, training institutes, retreats, and international missions, go to boblarson.org. Thank you for your prayers and financial partnership.